Our very deserving five-time champion, Norbert Kish, came from a similar background to yours truly, sim racing. Before clinching his fifth title, we interviewed him to paint a picture of how he came up from the virtual world to be where he is today amongst the greats. Sim racing was, um, you know, I think very important for me because when doing races online, you do it real time. You race against other people and you have you have the same experience, basically, for maybe even a more crazy experience, let's say like that, you know, because there is no risk and no money involved, you know, so there is no damage as in money when you race online. So people are usually a little bit more crazy, you know, and they take more risks. I was, you know, good on the simulator, um, was winning some championships on the internet, and then um, a real team owner um, saw me. So then he said that, ah, okay, come on, come and try the real car. And 2016 was my first full season in real racing. Um, you know, it was great. Renault Clio Cup in Hungary, there was, you know, the best drivers. It was a great experience, you know, and come in as a rookie and, you know, start to win races right away. It was, you know, very, very, you know, a little bit surprising and a very good experience. Fortunately, after after 2006, there was a chance to, to, to step up and there was the Seat Leon uh, Super Cup coming in, in Hungary. The car was, you know, next level. It was a factory racing car, you know. The most important thing was that I, I learned a lot. And you know, in the in the end, the champ I was the champion there, and I think in 2009 I was doing both championship together. So I was racing in the Formula Renault 2000 and uh, in the Suzuki Swift Cup on the same weekends. And I won the Suzuki Suzuki Championship as well, and and I was uh, the Hungarian Championship in the Formula Renault category as well. And then the track racing opportunity was coming, and you know, obviously the opportunity came out of uh, a sad. A sad event, you know, because the uh, Oxo Racing team was already existing in the championship and then the, the, they lost the driver in a, in a plane accident and then after that they were looking for a driver and that's when I came into the picture. Yeah, 2014 was a, a great year and uh, it was a very, very difficult year because at that time Aman still had different uh, levels of engines and uh, I never forget that Johan and Antonio had the highest level of engine and I had one level lower engine. So, you know, eh, we were not expecting to, to fight for a championship. On the last day here in Le Mans, on Sunday, it was uh, raining and I was on poor position and, you know, we were like shaking. Uh, but, you know, we were close and, uh, and we made it. In 2015, we all had the same engines. Uh, in, in the MINs, we were very, very strong. So yeah, that year we were dominating. In January uh, of 2020, uh, I started to talk uh, with Mr. Revis, you know, because I, I knew him already a couple of years before. He was, he was always, you know, coming to the, to the grid and talking to me. And then he said that, Norby, okay, one day I will decide, we will join, we will make a team and you will win again. And I said, okay, Mr. Revis, let's do it. You know, I'm ready anytime. After a couple of weeks of consideration in the middle of January, um, he made the decision that, okay, let's try to move forward. It was a great thing, you know, from Mr. Reves, and I am thankful for him for the eternity, for starting the team and um, giving us the opportunity, you know, to even through COVID to, you know, to, to step up and, um, and build a team and build the racetrack and improve the racetrack and go testing and do the races and uh, and be there and be competitive. I'm sure you'll all agree it's a fantastic story and hope you'll all join us in congratulating Norbert on this phenomenal achievement.